Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 33 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to be focusing on the topic of the combined mean. So we've looked previously at how to find the mean for a list of numbers, where you add up all the values and divide by the number of numbers, the number of values, and that gives us the mean. But now we're going to be looking today at a topic called the combined mean. So perhaps you have a class A and class B, and class A do a test and you know their mean result, and class B do a test and you know their mean result. How would you find the mean of all the students in classes A and B? And in today's video, we're going to look at how to do that. So let's get started. So let's have a look at a typical question. We've got the 25 students in class A and 15 students in class B, and they sit the same test. The mean score in class A is 80, and the mean test score in class B is 60. And we've been asked to find the mean test score for all 40 students. So we want to find the mean test score for all the 40 students. Now, if you want to try this question yourself, feel free to press pause and try it yourself. Okay, so if I was doing this question, the first thing I would do is I would focus on the students in class A to begin with, because I know that their mean is 80. And remember to find the mean, we add up all the values, and we divide by the number of values, which is 25, and we get an answer of 80. So if we take 80 and multiply that by 25, we can find out what all the test scores in class A add up to. So 80 multiplied by 25 is equal to 2000. So if you added up all the test scores in class A, the scores would add up to 2000. Now, in terms of class B, there's 15 students and their mean is 60. So that means if we added up all 15 test scores and divided by 15, we get 60. So if we take the 60, this is class B, if we take the 60 and multiply that by 15, we can get the grand total. And 60 times 15 is equal to 900. So we know that if we add up all the test scores in class A, there's the grand total of 2,000 marks. If we add up all the test scores in, cl in class B, there's a total of 900 marks. And we've been asked to work out the mean test score for all 40 students. So remember to find the mean, we add up all of the values. So if we add up these values here, these totals, we can get the grand total for all the 40 students, which would be 2,900. And then we're gonna divide it by 40, the number of students. So 2,900 divided by 40 would be equal to 72.5. So that means that the mean test score for all the 40 students was 72.5. So that's it. As you can see here, class A done particularly well. They're above that average for all 40 students. And class B, they found it a bit trickier. And that's it. So the combined mean for those 40 students would be 72.5. So this time we've got a combined mean question and we're told there's 30 students in class A and 20 students in class B and they sit the same test. The mean test score for the students in class A is 43. And the mean test score for all 50 students in classes A and B is 48 and this time we've been asked to work at the mean test score for the students in class b so feel free to press pause and try this question okay so in this question we were told all together there's 50 students and we've got their mean test score so that means if we added up all the test scores for all the 50 students and divided by 50 we get 48 so if we take 40 so if we take 48 and multiply that by 50, what do we get? Well, 48 multiplied by 50 is equal to 2,400. So that means that all the students, if you add up all the marks, we get a grand total of 2,400. Now, we know that in class A, there's 30 students, and we know what they got as a, we know their mean. Their mean is 43. So that means if we added up all the scores and divided by 30, we would get 43. So if we take the 43 and times by 30, what do we get? 43 multiplied by 30 to 1,290. So that means that in class A, the total of their marks is 1,290. And we know the total for both classes. So if we take them away, we can find the total for class B. So 2,400 take away the 1,290 would be equal to 1,110. So that means that in class B, the total of all their scores is 1,110 because we know that the two totals have to add together to be 2,400. So it means in class B, their total was 1,110. We know in class B, there's 20 students. So if we divide by 20, we can find the mean. So if we divide by 20, we get that's equal to 55.5. So that means the mean test score in class B was 55.5. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the combined mean. I really like this topic and I like questions on the combined mean. So hopefully you do too. I'll put a link in the description below to the practice questions. So feel free to give those a shot as well. So keep up the hard work. You're doing really well. And I'll see you tomorrow for 32 days to go to your GCC Maths exam. Cheers. Bye.